This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com. Parental discretion is advised. This show is brought to you by Slice on Broadway. Supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza, sliceonbroadway.com. IndieWrestling.us. Check out IWC, RWA, and more. And listeners like you, support this show at patreon.com slash wrestling mayhem show. Just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait. Hey guys, it is the Wrestling Mayhem Show 609 Tuesdays. We've been celebrating professional wrestling live from the Sorgatron Media Studios in the Beachview neighborhood of Pittsburgh, PA. I'm Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter. And uh, we got a crew with us. We got more coming. We got more coming. And we had some internet connections. So Wheels, unfortunately, could not join us tonight. Uh, so we're, we'll be looking at upgrading his internet, I guess. Uh, with us on the couch in the studio, he is Larry. What's up? Joining us from the bowels of Sorgatron Media Studios. <laughs> like, literally, he's moving in. Yep. 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 This is the thing that's happening. And why is he moving in? We'll, we'll leave that to you. Hmm. I, I don't know. Do you really want to keep that up in the air? Because you know what, ha- what happened last time. We I, had a question of what you do. I think the suspense is killing people. The suspense is killing people? So let's drag it out Why a few are more you weeks. moving into the basement of Sorgatron Media? Which is not our basement. By the way, we only rent like the room up here. There's another office that somebody else has in the back. And then there's... there's he, You have more space than I do, though. That's for sure. Uh, you have like the most yeah. real estate. It's, it's a lot of concrete, though. Yeah. 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 You're, 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 you have a nice finished floor. We do. We do. You do not. You heat. do not. Yeah, we do. <laughs> 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 but anyways, that's for another conversation and maybe another podcast. Uh, also with us, we uh, our special guest for tonight. Well, of course, if you're on the stream, uh, we'll be having a chat with him on the Indie Mayhem show for a later date release. The Beast Man joins us here in the studio. And yes, he brought he brought his friend. <laughs> How's everybody doing tonight? How there? you doing? Good, man. Thanks for having me, and I appreciate it. Wes, the Beast Man, amongst many other names, many other titles over the years, too. Super Beast amongst them. Oh, Super Beast. Super Beast. It's Bull- been a while since I've heard that one. Bulldozer, uh, uh... You know, a lot, a lot, a lot of them. We'll talk. We'll get into that. All, all, right. all your, all your different stuff. But of course, you wrestle a lot in the you said the uh, Ohio, West Virginia. You've been around a lot of Pittsburgh here, as well. Mm-hmm. So uh, a lot of fun to have you on. Thanks for joining us. It's been entertaining for, for a while. Me. And thank you for threatening uh, promoters. Um, because I, I, the, I remember my first Beastman experience was when you were chasing. I think you were on a chain and you were chasing Doctor Feelbad at RWA. And I think uh, him and the and the announcer were were backed up into the corner as you were <laughs> whose skull did you bash in to flatten the end of that bone I told you you have to kill me then oh there you go I don't remember that <laughs> come on so everybody's bringing, everybody's bringing weapons like we had work. a giant gavel last uh last week with uh david lawless and and this week we have a, a giant um we need more props I, I don't know how do you define that bone that you have there clean it what clean it or no, no how do you no, define you... it like what how would you describe that for our audio listeners oh all right dense dense it's a big dense phone yep. of a bone it's a phone. Phone, phone a phone bone is it a is There's it a phone. phone in there too well i mean technology nowadays yeah, you know, <laughs> you know, we were talking about banana phones on the last podcast ring, so ring, i mean ring, ring banana phone. <laughs> <laughs> you guys can check that over at awesomecast.com going up as well uh this evening but uh anyways thank you for joining us beastman husk on the twitter husk. and we'll be talking wrestling with us all night here uh and, and we'll have some people joining us throughout the night uh, uh talking wrestling as well uh of course you can join us as many are in the chat room here on facebook live at 9 p.m eastern time every tuesday what's up travis brandon wheels is joining us in the chat room the internet's good enough for him todd from the double d show is going to be joining us next week tina from the west coast duke davis um mayhemy for best dressed of the year in 2017 him and gannon jones of course dave potter uh everybody hanging out thanks a lot everybody for joining us here on the uh tuesday night wrestling party uh you can check out everything at wrestling mayhemshow.com you subscribe to us on itunes Stitcher, Spreaker, iheart radio and video versions on the youtube and facebook page for the wrestling mayhem show uh tweet us at mayhem show you can drop us a line at that let's say the email address is good times good times, good times. 
at sorgatronmedia.com because we haven't fixed the other email address yet. Uh, 412-206-WMS0. And, of course, please uh, follow us on the Facebook. In the Facebook group where a lot of great discussion has been happening as well. What are, we, what are we pointing at? When I point to the screen, it means look at the chat room, which means Mad Mike is in the chat room. Mad Mike's in the chat room. <laughs> and we'll add him here in a second as well. Oh, I'm juggling all the other things. Uh, but you can also, from memory, uh, check out our streaming partners, the 405media.com, where... Oh, he's here. Mad Mike's here. We'll talk to him in a second. Uh, but uh, the 405media.com, where you can check us out. They are replaying the latest episode every night at 9 p.m. Pacific time, midnight Eastern. You can fall asleep to the sweet sounds of wrestling mayhem. And uh, thank you to our Patreon supporters, patreon.com slash wrestling mayhem show, where you can join us here. I'm sorry, you can support the show and literally help keep the lights on. Uh, thanks to our fan of show, $1 level, Bo Diggity! Woo! Woo! As well as Ed Burke, Bobby F. J-Town, and Tina Keys. Poggy Club, $5 level. That's going to get some uh, conversation we just had with the Beast Man uh, about wheels. Uh, about wheels. What was it? The Black Moon Rising, he's yes. called Hash- it. Yes. Hashtag the Black Moon Hashtag Rising. Hashtag Black Moon Rising. Uh, with wheels uh, on the Pocky Club five dollar level, uh, our friends at Occupy Pro Wrestling, power to the smarks on Twitter, and Christopher Bishop, and our friend uh, Billy Johnson at the Pizza Club ten dollar level, he gets a state of the show and other perks as well. Um, but he, uh, wait, I gotta give a shout out to him because he he brought us some some gifts. Um, we uh, of course last week, last week he talked about that he brought us the uh, Sasha and the Rusev Day calendar. Um, this week, right over there behind the Beast Man is uh, oh, what is that? It's uh, Tennille Tenille Dashwood um, signed autograph to the Wrestling Mayhem show. Uh, the former, um, of course, Emma of WWE. There wow. you go. There you go. It's the presentation by the Beastman right now. So <laughs> thank you so much. Uh, for, oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, oh no. That, that's not clean. Oh, oh. Oh, don't touch. Uh, don't, that's don't, yours now, that's, buddy. There's <laughs> lay, lay claim to that. Souvenir. All right. There thank you go. Thank you, Billy. <laughs> 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 thank you so much for supporting the show helping decorate the studio as well also thanks to Dutters for the sweet uh, Black Panther poster that's hanging out back there too uh, that's going to be we got to find a frame for that but definitely going up here as well Wakanda forever uh, Wakanda forever Wakanda forever Wakanda, yes Wakanda forever and uh, of course again please support the show patreon.com slash wrestling mayhem show you can join us there uh, also there's a $20 manager level if you guys uh, you, you'll get a free digital download uh, every month from our partner at IndieWrestling.us at that $20 level per month. And, of course, uh, other perks as well. Uh, you're like the Paul Bearer or Miss Elizabeth or the Miss Paul Bearer, if you want to join those together uh, for that. Uh, so, like I said, Mad Mike has joined us. What's up, Mad Mike? Hi. Hey. Hi. I, 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 that I just is got not off Mad Mike. Boy, are my arms tired. Oh. Yes. So we, we have a little dispute before we get into the show because uh, I'm talking to the Beast Man. I was like, yeah, Mad Mike's going to be here. And he says, you are not Mad Mike. This is not Mad Mike. This is not Mad Mike. Who, who is your Mad Mike? Uh, Mad Mike is a uh, local guy from mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. now known as Fight Society, formerly PWX. Uh, known him for years. Mike's blonde hair, muscular, kind of. Yeah, that seems about right. Uh, uh, that seems pretty it close. Sounds like me. Yeah, exactly. Uh, um, I, I, I believe I've heard tell of this other Mad Mike before, and I've had the name longer, so suck it! <laughs> <laughs> be lucky you're not here, buddy. You'd be getting this right now, so tell me. <laughs> <laughs> awesome, Mad Mike joins from Pooh well, Kitchen. To be fair, to be fair What's this so is funny? Sorg's fault. This is Sorg's fault. This is my fault? Yes. Would- because you named me Mad Mike without ever looking in to see if there's anyone else using that name at all. I'm sorry I didn't vet the entirety of independent wrestling in Pittsburgh. <laughs> Stork, how could you not? That is true. That is true. I, I think <laughs> I think we should change his name. Who, Mad Mike's name? Yes. Wait, where, 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 what is he going to do? Uh, is Bulldozer still being used? Can no, we borrow no, no, no. that? No, he can have Bulldozer. He can have Bulldozer. All right, uh, Bulldozer Mike. Thank you well, for joining no, us this no, week. No, no, no. How about, how about no, we just call him Jeff? Jeff? No, because then there's Jeff Jarrett connotations, and I don't want any of that shit. Yeah, yeah, he's not, <laughs> he's not okay with that. 
why you don't like Double J? Spend no. my days working on. He That's didn't even sing that song. <laughs> but he's known for it. So what? So Millie the, Vanilli's known for a bunch of songs too. They didn't sing that shit either. And Joe uh, Jerry is the Millie Vanilli of wrestling. We have um uh, we have our some wrestling historians in the chat room, Pittsburgh wrestling historians that says Mad Mike's been wrestling since uh nineteen ninety six. No, working since I've 96. been known as Mike since nineteen eighty three, and I've been mad since nineteen eighty four. <laughs> wow everybody's doing the math on that right now you must have started watching uh-huh. wrestling in 1984 exactly <laughs> 84 was a good year for wrestling so that is true that is true <laughs> master mike uh Mad- tremont is being <laughs> master mike only the ladies can use that one Ayo. all right enough about the mad mics um i don't know does the other mad mike have a future no, endeavor no, you know what um i can just accept us both being mad mics but from different earths there you go what earth are you from earth prime whatever <laughs> i don't know <laughs> all right well anyways as uh mike and i have discussed uh, uh briefly last night on the raw wrap-up the Elimination Chamber was this weekend, and I forgot how many, how much glowy stuff is on the Elimination Chamber these days, guys. It, it was it was like, who wants to be a millionaire? It was a little bit. <laughs> it always has been, to be honest, but even more so. Like, there's lights all over that thing. That it it was a it was a game show. By the way, I am I also <laughs> I, I I am glad to see that the unions have gotten involved. The wrestling unions have gotten involved, and there's a lot more safety features on. The elimination oh, chamber. You mean can adding say, padding to the outside the of the ring instead of the steel grating? Yeah, exactly. What was that, Mad Mike, about the pad? The pad pissed me off. Why did the pad piss you off? You don't get the sound. You, know, you also you don't, don't get, get the... people dying by I'm a, taking a I'm bump aware. on a steel grate. <laughs> I'm aware of that, but if you're going to put a pad on there, it's really only on there for one purpose. For a heel to pull the pad off. Okay. And no one did that. Also, like, how, how often do, do do heels pull up the padding in general in WWE? Like, you don't see huh? that, like, good old pull up the safety pad pile driver like back in the day anymore, well, right? I don't, th- I don't think it's as easy to do that anymore with the new kinds of pads they use. They're kind of a little more integrated, right? Yeah. But it doesn't seem yeah. like there's a problem for them to spear somebody through the uh timekeepers area no that's real easy it seems these days right i mean i mean goldberg is doing it brock's doing it roman's doing it braun's doing it nia Jax is doing it now hey it's the first for all the first for the women's right yep Mm -hmm. oh the women's yeah that's that's how we're doing that um (laughs) of course it was the first ever women's elimination chamber um and uh, many are saying the better of the two elimination chambers of the evening are are you guys thinking Uh Better result. Better. Yeah, yeah. I would go with that. <laughs> I would go with that. Well, it, it was a better booking too, like because you had like, the only thing that sucked about the women's elimination chamber, in my opinion, is we built up this whole Alexa and Mickey thing, mm-hmm. and there was no payoff to it at all because they were never in the ring at the same time. Only for Mickey to kind of clean house for her in advance a little bit, as far as yeah. I mean, not not bronze style, but still. Um, you know that that was a and it was their not it was their not so subtle transition into her being a he, becoming a heel. Who Mickey? Again, yeah, because she was a heel on Raw. Yeah, so. yeah, I guess so. It was just kind of there, and and really your um your absolution girls were the uh Carlitos and Carlito and Chris Masters of this uh elimination chamber, as we I think we kind of suspected uh in in, in the long run, um. I do think it's kind of cool that Mandy Rose has the distinction of being the first woman eliminated in the women's rumble and the first woman eliminated in the elimination chamber. This is true. This is true. Um, Hey, first for everything. I don't know. So when we do the uh, women's wrestling by the numbers, <laughs> she's going to get that. Get that. Wait for her Hall of Fame speech. Oh, yeah. Because you know that. <laughs> I, I'm still she big be in on, a class with Gilbert. I'm still big on Mandy Rose and Gold. Gold Dust are my favorite team yeah. so far from the Mixed Match Challenge. It, really? It, yes. I like the Miz and Oscar. 
I mean, everybody is fun, but nobody is something that I could see existing outside of that world of the Facebook Live show, right? Like, I can oh, see. I think Bra and Alexa could be a thing. Yeah, yeah. Bailey and Elias, bit. too. Bailey and Elias? Okay. Well, Bailey and Elias are teaming on house shows. Mm-hmm. They're, they're teaming on a house show in Madison Square Garden against Cena and Nikki Bella. Well, there you go. So they're, they're still playing with this. And maybe this is going to turn into something else. May, Mike, maybe that's what Braun's going to do for WrestleMania. Maybe Braun's just going to second Alexa Bliss and help her out, right? Hey, if Braun is Alexa's diesel to beat Asuka, I'm okay with that. Oh, really? <laughs> I would I'm love on that. board. You're on board with that, Mike? I'm on board. Okay, okay, that could be fun. That could be fun. Um, but coming out of this, I mean, we we do. I mean, we set up a lot of stuff. Of course, Alexa and presumably Oscar uh, coming out of uh, uh, that, pretty much setting up WrestleMania. What well, you're shaking I, your I, head, Larry? I, I don't know. You don't I guess. know? I mean, they made they made this whole thing about she hasn't decided who she's gonna face, like lead, going out of Royal Rumble. Yeah, and then all of a sudden, it's just assumed that she's. Yeah, they're, well, they're, they're having a face-off. You know I mean? Like, without everything. actually, like, picking somebody. Right, absolutely. You know, there's no build-up. Yeah. I'm, I'm telling you, I still don't think it's I don't think it's Asuka and Alexa. What, do you think it's going to be Asuka and Charlotte? Yeah, we discussed this last night on the wrap-up. I think it's... I think um, Rude and Charlotte are going to beat Miz and Asuka, technically handing Asuka her first loss, and Asuka's going to get so enraged that she wants Charlotte at WrestleMania. Mm-hmm. Um, and then, of course, we also got Sad John Cena. <laughs> Mopey John Cena. Mopey John Cena, who wants to tell us what it's like to not get your way. And who is apparently wrestling AJ Styles right now on SmackDown. Yeah. Yep. Sure. Okay. Um, by the way, also the uh, uh, biggest uh, move last night, um, um, swerving everybody on the Undertaker announcement, <laughs> was kind of uh, uh, F you John Cena moment oh it's night. still happening you, th- you think it's still happening yeah. yes it's still happening you don't mention that if it's not going to happen i yeah. they mentioned it last year yeah they did no. mention it last year yeah but then roman was it roman was going to fight the Undertaker last year like this year he's mentioned it multiple times mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so 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 there's a potential john cena as of this recording uh the match is going to be happening here in a little bit if not starting now uh, so we get that news. Uh, supposedly, we're going to have up to a six-way at Fastlane for the WWE title uh, for AJ Styles. Um, damn it! If they mess up Nakamura versus AJ Styles at WrestleMania, if they <laughs> add a Sorg. person, if they, I'm going to break the levies. Sorg, they're mayhem mania thing, mania mayhem maniaing this shit. Is it? Oh, they just keep adding somebody uh, like we do. And yep. and I do have to call out because Roman won the Elimination Chamber. Both Billy Johnson and I uh, had a ten bot bet. It's a tie bot, ten bot or a hundred. No, this is twenty. This is a twenty. T- b- b- wait, wait, I think he. I think he overbet on us. Are we doing? Are we doing twenties? Th- no, I think you Double did. Do, I think you did do ten. So he owes you change. He owes us change. We gotta get change. So this okay, is a whole. I, I, have, I have ten. Sixty so. cents. You got a ten. I think I have a ten. Ten. Ten on the desk as well. So, um, well, I didn't realize he overpaid. Uh, so uh, uh, our ten bot bet. Roman Reigns won. I had Braun. I think he had. Did he have? He had. He had the Miz, I believe. Um. So, there you go. Our um. Keep keeping keeping the Thai uh, uh ecosystem. The Thai bot bet. The Thai bot bet, bet challenge. Thai bot bet challenge has. It's better than the Tide Pod challenge. Yes. Oh yes, it is. By the way, uh, if you haven't done the math, if you look at Google, uh, ten bot is uh roughly thirty three cents. Something like that, thirty-two cents. It was like thirty-two cents and change. It's kind of it, it's our <laughs> own like yeah yeah, it's our own like Canadian dollar bet yeah of sorts. We are high rollers here at Sorgatron Media. Yes, we are, and it's mm-hmm. it, I don't and I don't think you can Patreon in, in Thai uh, bot by chance. Um, one day we'll all take a field <laughs> field trip to the Bangkok, um, and I'll show you the sights, Mad Mike. Uh, but anyways, um. <laughs> Wes, Beastman, we were uh, talking beforehand about Braun. Okay. You, you had some thoughts about Braun. Yeah. The way I, the way it was, it looked like an elimination chamber. 
I, my personal opinion, I think it's going to be Braun, Lesnar, and Reigns at Mania. Just how everything, because you can't have a guy go eliminate five men and then lose mm-hmm. the next, <laughs> and then lose and like just throw them out in the throw them out in the cold. Yeah, you know, I mean that that's my thought. Or, I mean, I kind of like what they did with uh, with Elias last night. That'd be kind of cool to see him and Lesnar, not Lesnar, him and. Uh, him and you know what I mean. Him and Braun. Yeah, Braun and uh I, Lo- my problem with that is can I can we see Braun and Logan or, yeah, it's old name. Um Elias talk about you, you know be you know Tom and Jerry up through WrestleMania until he finally gets his hands on him again. Because I mean we have it. I mean they, they, this has happened. They've gotten into it, right? And I just don't know how you carry that at that point. You know, and again, it just seems like such a step down for Braun right now. It is, uh, but if the way if you think about it, though, it's a way to build Elias up more, and it's a way to get Strowman up because the way that they are using him, he's going to be the next guy, obviously. Yeah, and I mean, there's really not much else to say unless they. I mean, another thing you can think about is like last night during the uh, when they were having the little skit backstage that limousine pulled up nobody knew what that limousine was for mm-hmm. so can i keep an eye on that because there's so many ways of going into it they got six they got technically now almost five weeks in the wrestlemania and wwe no like wwe will just do whatever they can to just get there so absolutely I, I, you know whatever that outline is right they get the, so let's just kind of fill it in maybe we'll have another uh two and a half hour gauntlet challenge with yep. everybody that's at wrestlemania who knows who knows these <laughs> days right um, i would be i would prefer that than a Four way or three way, you know what I mean? Yeah, like, I, I, I I feel like throwing more people at the situation. The only one, thing I I saw last night that I am happy with throwing more people at this situation is I will take a Miz, Seth Rollins, and Finn Balor for the Intercontinental Title. I wouldn't be surprised if they made that to another ladder match. Honestly, uh, you're, you're with Mad Mike on that. He's seeing a ladder match out of that that three way as well. Well, it, yeah. wa- watch it be a multi, like more than three guys because every year they have not. a multi man ladder. You match add Braun and Elias to it. You add Braun, Elias, and a returning Samoa Joe. You got six guys in there. That'll be a kick ass fucking match. Is it Joe would. cleared for Mania? I, I think I, last we saw, he's going to be clear a couple weeks before. Now, who was it that was was clear before? I think Cesaro was clear just before, and they just debuted him the last next night. So, if, if you don't mind me asking, what happened? I don't watch a lot. Of... Joe tore a uh, muscle in his foot, Ugh. like months yeah. ago, though. Yeah. So okay, I I I don't get to watch a lot of WWE TV. Like I was just telling them, I watch maybe an hour of Raw and. Uh, the pay per views and that's it. Yeah, yeah so was, I'm kind of a little out of base. With yeah, some he stuff. was he was going back and forth with Roman when Roman had the Intercontinental title. It was like right after Survivor yeah. Series, I think. Uh, okay. No, 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 yeah. no. It was in January. It was I it was in January because he yeah. was supposed to be Bailey's tag team partner. Yeah. Oh, that's right. And he got Elias instead. She got Elias instead. Yeah. By the way, round two of Mixed Match Challenge uh, starts tonight, so be interesting to see that. Now that all the well, the fun teams like. Mandy Rose and Goldust are gone. Uh, and Eli- uh, but and Elias and Bailey. Me, not all the fun teams are gone. Yeah, sword. I know. I know. Some of the fun. Some of the fun ones. Well, uh, yeah, I mean, they're, they, honestly, they've all been fun teams except for Nia and Apollo because Apollo Cruz is a charisma vacuum. Oh. <laughs> Nia, he Nia. kind of is. What's that? Nia Jax is big. That's all I'm saying. Oh, yeah. No, not, Nia Jax is awesome. No, yeah. no, like she, she's Bay, not awesome. Oh, she's she's Bay. She's yeah. she's your Bay. Oh, yeah, well, that's my well, Bay right there. Okay. There you go. I can see that. I can see that. Well, well congratulations. Apollo belongs in the Spirit Squad. <laughs> what? Oh my God! Yes. <laughs> well, so what would his Spirit Squad name be? Uh, who cares? Ooh-ha. It'd be Uha. It would be Uha, wouldn't it? It would exactly be Uha. We'll we'll wait, we'll wait, 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 wait. What, what, what was Dolph's old Spirit Squad name? Kenny? I think he might have been. No, no, no. Because that was Ken Doan. Uh, uh, Nikki. Nikki, Nikki. Okay, we'll Nikki. call we'll call Nikki Apollo Nikki. Nikki. Yeah, we'll just be the Nikki. Uh, uh, Mike, you gotta explain for the, the people that don't know the Uha thing. Um, Apollo Cruz was known as Uha Nation. Yes. Uh, when when and in the on the Indies, and I think initially when he signed to NXT, but then they changed his name. 
Apollo. because apparently Uha Nation doesn't sound like an amazing wrestling name. No, let's go with Apollo Creed and Terry Crews mashup. Oh boy! Uh, by the way, uh, you know, I'm just checking in with the chat room here. One poor Alex Miller. Yeah, poor Alex Miller who gets to go to all the uh, Lucha Underground tapings recently. Oh no! Oh no! I don't feel bad for Alex Miller at all. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck yeah, you, there's that. Sir. There's that. This is a family show, man. Come on. <laughs> no, it's not. Kids listen. Nope. <laughs> we we do. Yeah, we do have a uh, parental advisory before the show when we post this. So even our parental advisory sounds dirty and wrong. <laughs> yeah. Is that Yahtzee in the background? I see in the corner right there. Wait, wait, oh, where? Mike, Mike behind. And Mike's room. Right, like... yeah, I, I love when I love when the guests are just like you're over your other shoulder. Yeah, that way. Yeah, what you got? Oh in those no, boxes? those are my pops. Oh. Those, are, those are my pop, my pop figures. Oh, I thought I you said pogs. I'm like, <laughs> yes, we're taking that back to 1992 wait, with pogs. Here? Yeah, hey, I collect, I, I still have uh, some pogs actually from it, back in the day. It's, so it's the game Red Flags. Oh, yeah, it oh. looks like Yahtzee. Oh. Close enough. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Um. But anyways, yeah, people are talking about uh, what is going to happen with Cena. They're thinking after Fastlane, maybe um, what Taker will show up or something. So I, I think it's it, if it happens, I think there could be a dong in the middle of that match. That there better be because if <laughs> if it's Cena, <laughs> Nakamura, I think and there's Styles, gonna be I'm six gonna dongs in the middle of that. There match. will be at least six dongs in the middle of that match. Yeah, so it's the men's match. Anyways, um, but before we get to more dong talk, <laughs> that's just where we're going tonight. Um, thank you to our friends at Slice on Broadway supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza. I don't have a thing up to show you for them uh but uh right here down the road here in beachview the original the og slice on broadway as well as other locations on carnegie pa pnc park on the pittsburgh pirates and their newest location in east liberty thank you so much uh to them for joining us uh as well and uh please support them please uh slice underscore pgh on twitter and uh, as as we talked with billy last week he's got the uh, the boot on for his recent um um, um, foot ailment and and just to illustrate why you should not kick the door down when you visit our friends at slice on broadway please uh please just push it open say hi and no, push it open know. with your foot maybe maybe, your, maybe. i think we foot. can accept that or but throw the bone through know. the window don't throw the bone through the window <laughs> hey i got, I got, got this i got a question for you i'm looking outside and like you got you got iga store you got Los Pal- I don't know how to pronounce. Well, that. the the IGA store is the Los Palmas actually, and it's a it's like a uh, Mexican bodega slash grocery store. Okay, I was so, I was and, like, and across the street, yeah, uh, um, they're uh, they're just cleaning up now, but that's a taco stand over there. Oh, sweet, they still yeah. open. Uh, well, I think he's cleaning up right no, now. I think it just started. So closing. yeah, yeah, that's how we roll in Beachview, man. Uh, and we got a couple other sweet Mexican places down the way too. So, but this is why you guys should visit. We do invite if you guys want to be guests in the studio to to observe the mayhem in person. If you're in the Pittsburgh area, we do invite you guys. Uh, please come on by. Uh, the address is in the event uh, for you guys out there too. Also, hey, a shout out um, because I did throw this out here on the awesome cast. But uh, we would like uh, reviews. We are going to bribe you for reviews. That's going to happen. For good um, reviews. For good, well, yeah, for good reviews. Yes, yes. Four stars and above, just like Lyft. Um, but uh, wherever you listen to us uh, on your podcast or on your um, – or even just comments or anything or likes or whatever, uh, but mostly on the podcast side, on your iTunes, on your Stitcher, on your uh, uh, Google Play Music. I think they have reviews on there. iHeartRadio. I know you guys are out there too. Um, but give us a screenshot of that. Send it to – uh, the good times at sorgatronmedia.com or hit us up uh, at Mayhem Show on the Twitter or the Facebook page for Wrestling Mayhem Show. And we're going to put those in and put them in the randomizer. We're going to send Wrestling Mayhem Show uh, t shirt to uh, at least one of you guys out there. If we get a big flux of them, maybe we'll do a few more. Uh, but there's definitely going to be uh, some some swag in it for you guys uh, to do that. Just want to get let, let people know about the Mayhem more. I'll hop up, pop up those iTunes a little bit more. And uh, we're doing great. The pump number... up the iTunes, pump up the iTunes, pump up the pop iTunes. Up, stay, make sure you stay. can popcorn powerbomb those iTunes uh, for us. Sure. Sure. Missy, you look like you were going to say something. No? I was going yes. to let you know that in response to the Slice on Broadway that we're getting a lot of interesting thoughts over here. Uh, for oh. starters, Ed Burke is screaming, kick the door down. Oh, so, no. Yes. Again, Ed, no, don't kick the door, Ed. No, don't, no but, you don't have to kick the door down. You kick the door in. 
No, even, no. It opens. Even, it opens. Even better. I know. I think it opens out, actually. Even better. Tina Keys says that until they can deliver by air, she's not impressed. Oh, no. Well, she is on the West Coast, so. Tina, I will mail you a pizza. Give you know, a- there is there, there is a certain <laughs> sandwich in Pittsburgh that dance you can sandwich? get by mail. No, not Dan Sandwich. No, no I'm just going to put it in a Ziploc he'll, bag he'll and show send up, it to her. He'll show up for a handshake and a hot dog. You could get Dan Sandwich by hey, mail. Hey, watch it. Hey, yo. <laughs> Brand, Brandon's getting us back on track. He had a good thank point. Thank you, thank you, Brandon. That there has not been a cruiserweight div- any cruiserweight division action on Raw in the past couple Ooh, of weeks. Ooh, well, maybe they're separating it a little bit. I mean, they have the well, tournament going running, on. That's because they're running the tournament. That's yeah, well, true. and I, I think they're just, I think they're just taking them off Raw altogether. Um, just right the, now, just to exist over there, they do have their own authority figure. And no, everything. just I think it's just for WrestleMania b- because they have so much, so many like other storylines to build up True. to WrestleMania. And, and it's not like their cruiserweight match is going to be on WrestleMania anyway. Hey, hey, hey! hey. It'll be great during uh, the access. during the pre-show during the oh, four and a half hour pre-show. Yeah, it'll okay. be on the pre-show. It'll be, <laughs> four, it'll be in the first of seven. I was going to say access, but okay. No, 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 no. no it'll be on the pre-show. Yeah. It'll be on the it'll be on the four and a half hour pre show. Jen, you're wrong. Yes, yes, you're saying two hundred five no, live. No, Jen, is you stupid. are wrong. No. Two hundred five live is actually two hundred five really live right has been amazing. Shame if you if Shame you have not you. given two hundred five live a chance uh, recently. Um, in the last like what three or four weeks, they've started kind of a tournament. If you like Cruiserweight Classic. You're gonna like 205 Live recently, mm-hmm. and even yeah, Benjamin especially if you like if you like Drew Gulak. Oh man, you're gonna <laughs> like 205 Live. Oh boy, are you? Yes, absolutely. And, and plus, you're it's gonna pay off because when John Cena doesn't win the six way at Fastlane, and the Undertaker has a broken hip, he's going to slim down to 204 pounds and nine ounces, and he's gonna enter himself into the 205 live tournament he's gonna he's gonna lose so much muscle mass so fast he's gonna look like fat bastard after he lost all that weight in austin Powers. yes it's gonna be it's gonna be, we were talking last night about he's gonna like like it's the reverse steve rogers captain america thing yeah you yeah know? exactly like he's starting as captain america and he's gonna uh knock down to to like he's gonna lose a foot of night his head's gonna be abnormally big <laughs> yeah yeah exactly yeah it's gonna be a Oh my god, guys, he's gonna be a pop figure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but uh anyways, oh, come pop. on. Bathroom break in the superdome. Come on. No. Oh. For two oh five? No. Oh. It's gonna be a fun match. It's gonna be good. I mean, Besides, it, it, people won't even be in the superdome yet to go to the bathroom. That's, that's the how problem early too. that match is gonna who be. Who gets who gets the match? Who gets the the um horrible, horrible like that. there is like ten people in the front row, maybe. Uh, uh, match. Oh, Roman and Lesnar. Ooh, Roman and Lesnar. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, I think we should predict uh, that a little closer. I will. I. I don't know why. I. I hate saying this. I think it's gonna be Rusev. Oh. I hate saying it, but last year it was Ambrose and um, Corbin. Was it? Yeah, it was because remember the uh, the SmackDown Women's Championship got bumped to the main show. Yeah. So they, so they moved down the uh, IC title match. Jeez. I Jeez. don't even remember that match. No. Yeah. No, yeah, I have exactly. no. Exactly. There's a reason. I have exactly. no recollection of that. That of that even. There's happening. a reason. It was him and it was Ambrose and Corbin. Yeah. Yeah, they were the. Uh, had, they were like the main like on this. I think, what time did the show start last year? Seven or Sh- six. Shane like and five, AJ opened the five show. O'clock. Five o'clock. Were they the one right after Shane and AJ? No, that um, was before. No, that, that was Owens and Jericho. Yeah, they had it on USA during the. Uh... <laughs> they were on the pre-show. Yeah, yeah, yeah they're on the pre-show. Pre-show. <laughs> yeah, that's what we're saying. Oh, yeah. I, I thought you meant they just got like bumped into the, like the bathroom break in the middle of the regular oh, no, show. No, 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 no. They're on the pre-show. Pre-show. <laughs> yep. Yep. Anyway, they're so, they were so far in the pre-show they may well have been on Shotgun Saturday Night. Oh, Sunday Night Heat. Ronda Rousey, you guys. Can we get an advocate for Ronda? Can we get an advocate for Ronda? Why not? Why yes. not? I will say this. She uh, was better on the mic Monday than I thought she was going to be. I don't think she was good, but she was better than I thought she was going to be. I thought she was going to be Mike Tyson bad. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, I mean, nobody's yeah, Mike Tyson bad. Mike Tyson bad was at least funny. But not because it was supposed to be. 
No, exactly. But he only referred to Shawn Michaels as heartbreak. <laughs> like, not even heartbreak kid. He's like, you are heartbreak. Like, and this is a guy who, who self-admittedly watched a lot of wrestling, I thought, too, right? Going into this. Oh. Um, well, but, so is Ronda Rousey. Yeah, absolutely. Well, and I think Ron is doing doing well. Um, but that will be a long ass bathroom break. Do you realize the distance to the bathrooms and then the line? Just saying. Hey, there ah. are listen, I was in, in the in MetLife, it was it was the P. Diddy segment was just as not just enough time for a P. Diddy break. Hey, speak for yourself. I enjoyed the P. Diddy segment. Thank you very well, much. I, I need s- to go to the bathroom sometime. I sang along with all of those songs. Sort. I can't wait for the Elias halftime show. I still don't think I've watched oh. it since. Oh. oh, I hope Elias is the musical performance. Him him and uh, Aiden English. There you go. You know it would be really great? If, if WWE wants to bring back a celebrity that matters... Bring in Weird Al Yankovic. <laughs> okay. Elias and nope. Weird Al. You, I want to see that. You disagree. I think Wes disagrees. No? <laughs> no. no, no just, <laughs> there's a lot of facials on this for you guys on audio. Sorry. <laughs> that's, that's, Double, right, double J and a road but... dog if they're going to do anything. That's <laughs> how show. Like, just right. imagine Weird Al parroting famous wrestling theme songs. Matt Carlin says, Flow Rider greater than Diddy. Matt Carlin can go to hell. He can go right to hell. I'm also concerned because uh, I know Matt Carlin is probably in this car on the way here and he's chatting in the chat room and watching the show. And he's giving out horrible opinions. He he may be driving impaired, Sorg. <laughs> Just in general. Uh, but, anyways. <laughs> But no, uh, Ronda, of course, making headlines as they do. And, of course, the McMahons are involved as they do. Um, I'm okay with it, though. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, what else do you what, do? What were, what were you going to have her do? Yeah. You know, were you going to put her in a match against Charlotte, like, right out the gate? Or any anyone? I mean, I think you can't have her now, work now, with... You now. can't have her work with Nia... Or someone less experienced right now because she needs to work with somebody who knows what she's doing. They, I, I they, Go ahead. They got her in the right spot because she, for as green as she's going to be going into Mania, she's in there with, and I'll give Stephanie credit too, with three good workers that know what they're doing, and that way they can hide her weaknesses. So. Right. Mm-hmm. No, I agree. What do you think, I, what do you think I, Matt, Mike? You think I was okay? It, he, he did, Kurt Angle, Kurt Angle can't, he's not Kurt Angle Mike, of five Mike, years ago. You, you got something right there, bud. What? You got something right there. A booger. No, well, more, more. Right, right there. No, I'm, I'm... I, don't <laughs> I don't know what's happening. Uh, no. no, but uh, Kurt Angle, he's not the Kurt Angle from five years ago. Like, he had to be protected in the uh, TLC match. Did he? So, though? I, I don't. I, don't know. I, I think he I was just. For half of it. But I think that was just because it was a TLC match. No, it's it's. Be- you guys didn't watch Curtin TNA in the later years. Like he's not Kurt Angle anymore. Yeah, none of us watched it like like Mike and Curly Doe has. So like like, it, like and God bless him. I'm glad he's still back doing his thing. But it's gonna be difficult to carry that match because it's not like Steph is a real, you know, five star classic Matt wrestler. Like if this ma- if this mixed tag match goes over six minutes, they have failed on every level. And why is and that? Triple H, tri- just because they it won't be as fun. This no. should be a five minute match. It should be Triple H and Stephanie getting squashed, and that's it. But because it's Triple H, that's not going to happen. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I, I think no, no, no. I think I, what you'll have Triple H and Angle and and and. He's picking on Angle or whatever, and then Ronda gets out yeah. there, punches. Yeah, but flip, but Triple H is going to be up on Kurt Angle for fifteen minutes. No, no. The whole point of this is going to be Ronda getting her hands on Steph. That well, is yeah. the whole point of everything there, and that is going to be held off. Like everything is going to be around that. Kurt Angle is just just they, a piece they should, of this. They should just do like the same exact kind of match that Miz and Marisa and Cena and Nikki had last year. Mm, because yeah. that was perfect. Okay. No, because the whole point of that was Nikki getting her hands on Maurice. Yeah. Uh, the whole point of that was just for Cena to propose to 
old that too. That but... was the <laughs> premises behind that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that was it. Was kind of the road to get to that. You know, you, your work always said, "Well, well, why, why is Cena and Nikki completely in the ring there?" Well, let's start oh, with God Miz damn and it. And, 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 Sal, and what is Al Roker doing here? Yeah, you know, and then there's Al Roker because I, I don't know. Um, the uh, Grim Larry... Reaper just commented on Facebook. Um, that we're gonna have a six pack challenge. Six yeah, we'll pack was challenge was. Thank Cena. you, Dave Podner. Yes. <laughs> Did you just say the Reaper? Yeah, I, yeah. Why is he the Reaper? Because he's bringing bad news. Oh. <laughs> it's Super Cena. There you go. And the Miz was right. Yeah. <laughs> There's that too. Um. That that's a good point. Tina's pointing out that Steph went pretty long when she went against uh, Brie Bella. Man. I mean, but she's against Rhonda. Mm-hmm. That's yeah. the thing. It should not go along when she's in there with Rhonda. It's like it, it should I go mean, two minutes. That's like saying Brock's going to go ten minutes with Vince McMahon. Yeah, me. exactly. That's right? exact. That's the perfect comparison, Sorg. Or even Shane. Yes. Or even Shane. Like, I'll, I'll wait like, till he's done before I rebuttal. No, so go, go ahead, Wes. All right. I'll bet. What's that? Uh, that I'll bet you whatever the ten bot bet. Are you I'll, in on the ten bot bet? I'll be on this. I'll, All right, here's what's gonna happen. We gotta find you ten bot, but okay, you can. We'll split this currency this exchange at the airport. There you go. Yeah. All right, here's what's gonna happen. It's mainly gonna be Kurt and Triple H for a majority of the match. Steph D will come in and get a little heat on Kurt, and then the end, the payoff is gonna be Ronda and Stephanie. All right, Stephanie is gonna tap out to the armbar. Which is what I will say is going to happen. Like, well, that's my, like, the way I've seen and how things have, like, how things are portrayed right now is what's going to happen. They're leading to that spot, like, that moment. And, like, if you think about it, that's the only way the match can be booked. Well, I, I oh, can yeah, I no, could, that is the only way it can be I booked. I can think because... of another way. Um, They have Shayna Baszler come out as their secret enforcer, like they did with Samoa Joe right before WrestleMania mm-hmm. to take out uh, Seth Rollins. You know, that would be interesting, and that then that sets up, that sets up a big feud, an incredible feud yeah. for Ronda yeah. after WrestleMania, I like and that. someone who she's worked with before, yeah. presumably. Yeah, yeah. Well, there's video footage of it that just leaked online. Yeah. So, but yeah, really, yeah. like what training or something? Training, yeah. Okay. There, there, so. There's so much that can be. There's so much that can be done with this going into it. I mean, look, remember when Liam Yunos had that tag match like what five or six years ago? At mm-hmm. Mania, she, uh, the girl, the lady from uh, ET or whatever. Yeah, Maria Menounos. Yeah, she. Maria she, Menounos. She had that tag match with. Uh, Let's not forget Snooki. <sighs> but yeah, but Snooki <laughs> didn't do much other than that. But but, Maria, she did a but sweet, the, sweet, sweet flip matches, though. She did. Those matches only lasted about six to eight minutes. Nope. And none of them I, had I'm Triple a, H. Check the t- go if you can find any accuracy on time. Check the time between that tag match. Hell, even Melina was taking heat. So, I mean, Maria was taking heat in that match. So that match did go at least 10, in my, if I may recall. So I mean, She does deserve heat, though. She's a terrible announcer. Oh, yeah. Oh, jeez. Worst part about the Royal Rumble. I mean. Uh, I'm, I'm looking at that now. Uh, but anyways, um, uh, yeah, it'll be interesting to see. Yeah, there. Kelly Kelly, Maria Menounos versus Best Phoenix and Eve Torres, 7 minutes 32 on YouTube. They should have been destroyed. Does that include the entrances or no? Uh, no. Uh, let's see. Well, that's not even YouTube. That's actually the, that is the WWE. WWE.com cut. And let's see. Oh, good. I didn't get a commercial. All right. Ah, uh, look at Kelly Kelly. That's great. Um, <laughs> we'll see. Uh, wait, there's a lot that can happen here leading up to WrestleMania. But in the meantime, there's plenty of wrestling to watch everywhere else, including IndieWrestling.us. Including, you can see, on the IndieWrestling.us YouTube and Facebook page, The Beast Man. That's right, right here. The, well, there he is. The Beast Man. <laughs> Not Mad Mike. The Beast Man. <laughs> there he is. Taking it to the limit at the Black Diamond Wrestling Royal 8 Tournament. The Haas Tournament. The Big Guy Tournament. The baddest of the big guys. Damn straight. There you go. Take it on Peyton Graham in the uh, finals. And uh, being reunited with your long-lost friend, apparently. Yes. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> we, you know, we went out to lunch the next day. And you and T-Rex. Yeah, me and T-Rex yes. went out to lunch. I just yes. told me, you know, it was nice seeing you, but we just got to go our separate ways, man. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. So, it's amicable. 
that okay. that friendship's extinct. Yeah, it's extinct. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great. That's awesome. Uh, but no, go check that out. And other matches, because I know we have your appearance in IWC uh, on there as well. Your appearance is in RWA. Um, just look up uh, Beastman, Super Beast, and whatnot over there. <laughs> the, the different versions of your name. Also, and because I know I brought up the name a lot, uh, for a time you teamed with Super Oprah. Yes, the old Super Oprah. Good old Super Oprah. Um, I think, was it, no, 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 Super Oprah was at a women's tournament, but I don't think you were at that one. Uh, <laughs> no, I I know I wasn't there, but the night before, my thumb almost got broke by Patrick Hayes. And that's, mm. I remember that night very <laughs> well, cause... well. We'll tell some stories about Super Oprah and, and stuff on the uh, Indie Mayhem show. Stay tuned to that if you're on the live stream. Or uh, make sure you subscribe to the Super Feed, the Wrestling Mayhem Show Super Feed, or the Indie Mayhem Show, so you don't miss those when those come out as well. IndieWrestling.us, including, uh, like I said, RWA, IWC, Rise Wrestling uh, recently joined us. And uh, we actually have, again on the YouTube and Facebook, uh, Rise Wrestling, there's a fantastic match between friends of the show, uh, Lee Moriarty and, uh, and uh, Jack Pollock. Um, glad to find he found, see he found employment outside of IWC there. Um, after he got uh, ejected a couple months ago. But uh, 10 minutes of the over 30 minutes that they wrestled in a instant classic main event uh, the, in the February Rise Wrestling Show. Those guys are rematching this weekend in Brownsville, PA, if you guys want to join that. And, of course, that will be filmed for IndieWrestling.us digital download and video on demand. We do have video on demand now. It is compatible with your uh, uh, smart device and uh, tablets and everything. Unlike the digital downloads, which are, well, you know, who's going to download a two gigabyte file to their phone, right? Uh, so uh, an option for that, a little cheaper. It's a rental period. Uh, so you guys can hopefully a lot easier check out your wrestling from all of our friends, including them, including Premier, uh, Premier Championship Wrestling Cleveland. Their show, Zero Hour from last month, just got posted as well. And, of course, uh, we're having about a two to three day turnaround getting new shows up that we've been recording in the last month, and we hope to keep that trend for you uh, as well uh, as we keep going here uh, with our friends at Rise and IWC and RWA, uh, recording them through Sidekick Media Service. Speaking of Sidekick Media service, Services, here's a message from them, and we'll be back with what you've all been waiting for, Mayhem Mania. Sidekick Media Services. We are your sidekick in business for social media, video production, and more. Find out more at SidekickMediaServices.com. Sing it, Mike. I'm back. He's back. back. Back in the New York crew. He's back. I'm back and better than ever. Oh, there it is. <laughs> All the people, the party, the mayhem party rolls on. It is Wrestling Mayhem Show. Mike Sorg here. Line with through. Larry's still with us. What's up? Wes the Beast Man. Joining us, Beast Man Husk on the... Husk! There it is. Husk! Oh, oh, bring it in the shot. You gotta bring in the shot. Yeah, the shot. Yeah. Husk! Ah, there it is. Did you kill a dinosaur? Yes. Awesome. <laughs> that was his old tag team partner. As well as Mad Mike. Wheels is on the line with us. We fixed his internet. Put him on another device. And, of course, yes. Mainstream Matt has joined us to preside over Mayhem Mania. And he's got some bad news right. for you guys Miss tonight. Miss you every day, Wade. Miss, Miss you, you every day. day. Yes, absolutely. That Nexus reunion cannot come fast enough. I do not have um, the output for the um, images this week, unfortunately, sir. Just a heads up when you go through your matches. But it is time. Ma producer Missy Shoulder it is here. time for Mayhem Mania. Mainstream Matt, what do we do? Yeah, I know. I like how we always have someone new here, so I have to explain it fresh to them. There's like, always somebody new out there listening, wondering what the hell we're it's doing. It's always here. somebody's first show, man. It's yes, always somebody's yes. first time. Somebody's always watching for the first time, Sword. Remember that. Absolutely. You're, you're absolutely. Podcasting, even though we've done 10 million episodes of this show, there's always someone out there watching for the very first time. Yeah, love that mic. Love that mic a little bit. It feels hey, like the first um, time. All right, so Mayhem Mania is kind of like a. Uh, a semi-competitive thought experiment where we're trying to build the, the best WrestleMania card humanly possible within the bounds of the current reality. So it's not like fantasy booking where you could just kind of pull anybody from anywhere. Basically, you have to operate under the same rules as Vince. Uh, there is some flexibility, obviously. Uh, you know, obviously, if Vince really, really, really wanted to make the absolute best, best, best WrestleMania card ever possible of all time, he would back up the, you know, the money truck and bring in all sorts of people who are under contract to different organizations. So there's like a, uh, a, a zone of flexibility. There's a gray area that you can operate in. Uh, and how far you get into that gray area, Larry, um, 
<laughs> the, the people around here can kind of help uh, draw the line, so you get an idea. So we've got an, uh, an eight-match card. So once we've created our eight-match card here, basically we bring in about five people every week, and everybody has to make a single change to the card to try to, to, try to improve it just a little bit. Um, so I'll run through the eight matches here, but I'll also tell you that the options uh, for what moves you can make is um, you could simply you know kill a match entirely and create an entirely new match, you know, one-on-one, -on -one, tag team, four-way, you know, basically anything you really want to do. Don't do any, like, 40-man battle royal, you know, that takes up all the toys, and, you know, we won't leave anything for anybody else. Uh, but you could kill a match entirely, create an entirely new match. You could swap a wrestler or a tag team in for another one. You can even swap from match to match, so if you wanted to take him down there and move him up there you could do that if you want to swap him off the card entirely bring someone in who's not on the card just giving the visual like that giving the visuals the beast man sorry for you guys there there you go um it's a, it feels backwards okay um all right and <laughs> and i do have uh, graphics here for what uh, you go, go down um <laughs> what which one i was like oh and you could ask and you can add um a tag team or a single person to an existing match if you want to make it like go from like a three-way to a four-way or a one-on-one -on -one to a three-way or you could even add like a person to one side of a tag match and you know make it a handicap you know so there i mean use your imagination now, you know now can i add people from like the past if i want or not really you gotta well i mean maybe um that's kind of where we get into the gray I'm area gonna call shenanigans if watch yourself <laughs> i mean if look if it's possible if it could happen at this year's wrestlemania in real life yes you can do it if you wanted to say Look, Vince McMahon is going to pay Shawn Michaels $10 million to come the F out of retirement and wrestle so-and-so at WrestleMania. You're damn right it could happen. So, yes, there is a flexibility there that you can operate in. But it's got to be possible in real life. You're Vince McMahon with zero self-control and unlimited funds and resources. Vince so, help? basically, Vince McMahon. That's okay. the joke we say every week. <laughs> Vince's dementia could kick in, and he could bring Bart Gunn back. That that is never happening, Larry. For the last time, he hasn't wrestled in ten damn years. Um, anyway, we're gonna put you. We're gonna put you at the end of the line. We got five people to play. You'll be the fifth person. So I'm sure it's gonna make sense once you get through. I still like how the issue with that was Bart Gunn and not Butterbean. Yeah, I yeah, I, I, I don't yeah. understand. Um, where, where are we? Uh, the man's an electrician. Sorgi, let's run through the matches. <laughs> yes, absolutely. What we got? Uh, Missy, I'm going to need an assist to go to the top of the list. And we also have the envelope. Yeah, but don't I need yours so I could see who created what. It, you, okay. Mike said, don't forget the oh. envelope. I can help you out. You I can help you out. I can help you out. Oh, the envelope? Just go and say the match. Oh, look at you go. All right. Um, okay. Let's run down the card, shall we? Together. Uh, first off, um, we've got AKA Sailor Moon, Ember Moon, and Kyrie Sane versus Peyton Royce and Billy Kay. Uh, we have... By Bobby F.J. Town? Yes. We have Batista versus Bobby Lashley versus Braun Strowman by the gavel David Lawless. We have Roderick Strong versus AJ Styles versus Adam Cole, uh, created All by right. Cal Turner. Mm -hmm. We've got um, Fish and O'Reilly versus The Revival versus The Bar versus Chad Gable and Shelton Benjamin, created by Chad the Shad. We've got Finn Balor versus Brock Lesnar, uh, created by Officer Dan Murphy. Officer Dan Murphy. Uh, we've got Elias versus E3, EC3, created by... Is that you, Sorgatron? Yeah, I did that one. Good job, Sorgi. Uh, we've got Asuka versus <laughs> Charlotte versus Ronda Rousey versus Nikki Cross, created by Mad Mike. That'd be me. And we've got Trevor Ricochet Man versus Pete Dunne. Pete Dunne. Created by... Uh, Mad Mike. Awesome. Mad Mike. Getting all the toys. Uh, Sorg, last week we did a um, the Elimination Chamber Challenge, uh, and we invited people to send us their predictions of who would win the Elimination Chamber match on Sunday, and uh, we said if they correctly gave us the correct prediction, we would use their move uh, first thing on this week's show, and I'm happy to report that your boy, Dave Podner, correctly predicted that Roman Reigns would win the Elimination Chamber. Mm -hmm. So he wins the challenge, and he gets to make a move. So, Dave Podner, uh, and I'm sure, have you seen this move yet, Sorg? Uh, I this, right? have it right here. And the move, I believe, involves you, the I, uh, I, Elias I, versus EC3 match. Yeah, he says replacing EC3 and uh, time to give the showman 
he who walks with an experience, your Velveteen Dream. Ooh. So, yes. so he is swapping out EC3. He's bringing in the Velveteen Dream to face Elias on our oh, Mayhem wow. Mania card. I love it. I'd rather see that be a battle of the bands. That could be fun. That, wow. <laughs> that's a cool idea. So that's a good job there. Uh, next up, we're going to have Mad Mike take a move, and then we're going to put Missy on deck. So, uh, Mad Mike, um, first of all, do you want to take a try at the mystery envelope? I, I do. I have a question first. Okay. Yeah, this uh, is, oh, I'm this sorry. Is, I'm this sorry. Is, this is, um, so yeah, before this whole thing started, it's, you have to explain. It, it's hard to explain. But um, So I don't usually make moves in this game but there is a match i have in mind that i would really like to see people make so i put the dream match in that envelope and if somebody correctly predicts it correctly um we'll give them like a uh reward for uh guessing it correctly which is all right that'll be Matt, fun um, right right sorg no holding Matt, up to the light all right yeah this is sealed yeah it's sealed Matt, my my question yeah were both members of your match on the main roster at the time you decided you wanted this match? No. No? Ooh. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, I'm going to say you wanted Alistair Black versus Kevin Owens. No. Damn. Oh, I thought I had it. Okay. I even pulled up the first week to see because I knew one of your guys wasn't available. All right. Um, <laughs> That's good. You're learning. I'm doing research. Yeah, I'm I know. Unlike research. everyone gonna, else who's trying to play this game. This is, I'm going to figure this shit out. Compiling this. Uh, um, they right. forget how what's your line supposed to work. All right. All right. Uh, oh. Oh, what move should I do? I don't even know. Because there's, there's, we got some, we got a pretty stacked card so far. Let me sweeten the pot for you a little bit. Because uh, right. I've kind of been keeping this in my back pocket. This is something we kind of do every year, Sorgi. Uh I'm going to I'm going to introduce a fourth move option. <gasps> is it the delete with, option? The subtract or delete option. You can actually remove a person or a tag team from one of these matches. But okay. I'll only let Yin's guys do it this week, one week only. So if you want to take advantage of subtract option. Oh. Cuz honestly, these matches are getting effing bloated. bloated. I'm sick oh, of looking I, at all I, these multi bands. Right. So Mike, if you want to take advantage of subtract mm. option for this week only, Oh, I will let you do that. I'm getting ready like Roman Reigns here. Yeah, I'm definitely <laughs> I'm definitely using the subtract option this week, Matt. See, I should have let Sword go this week with the subtract option. But uh, you know why, Matt? Do you, do you know why? Because there's like there are a lot of great names on this card so far. A lot of great names that are WrestleMania caliber. Yeah. WrestleMania, uh, WrestleMania characters like people I want to see video packages for, Matt. Uh huh. You know who I don't want to see a video package for? Who? Roderick fucking Strong. Oh, Jesus, no. <laughs> so I am taking Roderick Strong out of that three-way match, and we are just getting AJ Styles versus Adam Cole, baby! Wow, I can't argue that's... with that. That's a solid wow. move. Good job, Mike. Yeah. I like it. Yeah. Thank I like you. it, Mike. Thank you. All right, we're going to let uh, producer Missy go next, and Hot Wheels is on deck. I'm on a ramp. All right. Am I on over here? Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, Mike, I'm sorry, man. No. Oh, no. Missy. Missy, no. Oh, no. Missy. I'm nixing that match, and I'm going to replace <gasps> it. This whole thing? Yep. Oh wait, no! Wait, 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 wait. wait this which one. whole thing? This? The Oscar Charlotte Rousey oh, okay. cross. Oh, I'm mixing Missy. it. I know, I know, I know. Oh, because I've seen oh. a repurpose for Ronda Rousey. <laughs> <laughs> they were setting okay, it. They right. were setting it up yesterday. I gotta, I gotta tell you. I gotta tell you something but, right now. If you take the these this match off this card right now, you can't reuse. These four oh, people in your move. All right. Just want to make that clear. Okay. Look, I, we have rules here. Missy, this I isn't kinda, just, we're I not just making this up as we go. Going. Missy, I think I know where your head's going with that, and I'm okay with, with you putting Rhonda back on the board. Well, I'm going to, since I can't use Rhonda right now, 
I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to make this a match with Triple H versus Kurt Angle. <laughs> and you guys okay. see the visuals okay. on this one, guys. This this of course can be amended next week. I'm very much laying the foundation okay. without breaking the I rules. See, I see what you're doing. Mm-hmm. I see what you're doing and I appreciate it. Okay. Because that was that was the only move I honestly Yes. That's yeah. that's that's what I'm that's what I'm going with. Okay. Thank you very much. That's awesome. Always nice to see H on the card. All right. Hot Wheels, you will go next and then You'll be up. He's on a one week. Uh, uh, Larry's serving a one week suspension for creating Bart Gun versus Butterbean. <laughs> <laughs> Just to Good let form. you know where we draw the line here. But and, and it's, actually, it's not Butterbean either. It's apparently <laughs> the line draw the, the, line, the line is, is drawn Gun. at Bart Gun. Uh, okay, Hot Wheels. Tatanka's fine. Alrighty, Tatanka uh, is fine. Chris Russo just had a match with him like last year, so. Which is really funny is, um, Mike, if you wouldn't have taken away that one person out of that triple threat, I was going to add a person into that. <laughs> wow. I mean, you still but, could. You still could. But can. I still, no, no I, I like it a little bit. No, actually, I think I'm going to add this person. Okay. Because okay. I think I'm going to add, with Adam Cole and AJ Styles, the Samoan's Mission Machine. <laughs> Samoa Joe. Now, now we have checked on this preemptively as far as Joe's physical availability for WrestleMania, and we think he's going to be ready, right? So that's that's all. That's what I'm hearing. Yes, Missy. So, so wheels is that your official yes. move? That's my official move. Alex Cars rules, bitch. Here's the question that I have: There was a certain person brought up last week that we said was a no go because they were currently under contract with another company. Yet there was some speculation that that person may now be WWE bound. I think you're confusing him with someone else. Are you sure? Perhaps. <laughs> Good talk. The, the, mic, the mic sharing right now is amazing. Um, the, the, the gavel initially, so there's this triple threat match with this beef slamming triple threat match with Batista versus Lashley versus Braun Strowman. Initially, the gavel David Lawless wanted Moose mm-hmm. instead of Batista. Now we checked on Moose's contract status. He signed like a three-year deal with Impact like last year, so we couldn't use <laughs> that it. That poor dumb bastard. But <laughs> Lashley, <laughs> Lashley has been a constant on this, a near constant on this uh, card uh, since we started it this year. And speak of the devil, he signed with WWE over the past week. That's the word, at least. Now's a good time for me to remind everyone that Jeff Jarrett is back in the good graces of <laughs> WWE <laughs> right now. Matt, you it's shut your mouth. It's always important to remind people no, counts, that options counts. are out there. It counts. Um, Matt, you shut your mouth. We've yep. gone, we've hey, gone further host. out the field to host. make a match. Jeff thing. Jarrett's okay, but Bart Gunn is not. Yeah. Yeah. Damn right. Yeah, actually. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, Jeff Jarrett's wrestled at least in the past You got this? Years. I, it, feel free to ask questions. I, I'm, I'm very helpful. So, so talk it out. You, you just got, like Final Puzzle on Wheel of Fortune. Just talk it out. I just had a brilliant idea for yes, a match in my head. Yes, yes, good. So let's take out that entire tag match. Which this before. entire four way thing? Yep. Yes, yeah. good, good. Yeah. I like where you're going. It, it could be with people with speculation that can be signed with WWE. It's not under contract, right? That's right. That's right. That's right. Okay. Okay. Then I'm going to do the Honky Talk Man uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> and Rockabilly. Yeah, 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 yeah. Versus yeah. Double J. Yes, 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 yes. And Jesse James in a yeah. dog. Yes, yes, I love it. It's great. It's perfect. I love, I love it. it. The New Age Outlaws explode at WrestleMania. Oh, God. I don't know how I'm going to fit oh, all man. the writing in here. And I can't wait to send this one to Garza. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, it's a good time to mention uh, thank you to Antonio Garza, the WrestlingRevolution.com, for providing our amazing graphics for this and what we use in Talking Mayhem Show, the hottest 
post podcast talk show on the internet right now starring Matt Carlins. I have a request for the graphic, Antonio Garza, and please, we need to put this in the Slack when we send it to him. And if you guys forget, I will put it in there my damn self. Um, he's been doing the graphics where it's just the eyes. All we need are just those J- JJ glasses. Yes. Yep. It should be. <laughs> okay. yes. You know what? I'm going to leave it to Garza. I think you're looking for the roadie is what you wanted to call the roadie. roadie yeah, the roadie bad. and roadie. double J, no, the Jesse, roadie, James. Jesse James. Exactly. Yeah, I think he was. Actually. Roadie, well, he was Jesse just James. the roadie before he was the real yeah, double he... J, Jesse James. Because everyone knows he was the true. one who was really singing those songs. Mm-hmm. Been in my days working Matt, hard on, on the go. go. <laughs> what? That. What? Um, I, I'm very. This is this is might be my favorite round of Mayhem Mania ever. Yes. Good job. Do you, do you know you why? Go. Why? Do you know why? Because you got the Carlin. Because, I mean. because I get the Alex Cars rule next week, and if I'm not mistaken, my match is graduated. Oh, hold that thought, Mike, because ah! you are correct. One of our matches. You see, if a match, <laughs> la- if I'm one of these matches survives three straight weeks without being altered in any single way. Yeah. We kind of lock it in and move it over to like a quote unquote super card, and then it kind of opens a slot up to create more matches. And indeed, one of these matches that was not touched this week indeed is graduating to the super card. It's all grown up, and we'll tell you which match it was. Shut your mouth, and we'll tell you which match graduated on Talking Mayhem Mania coming up on uh, Better Podcast Networks all over the place. (laughs) Sorgi, let me run down this. um, Let me run down the card for everybody. Yes, here. yes, yes. One What's last up? time. Oh, when I looked at that first, when I saw Sailor Moon, and then I kind of do, I'm like, because I don't watch a lot of WWE anymore. Yeah. And I'm thinking, <laughs> so we can like put anything on it. I'm thinking like Sailor Moon versus the Care Bears. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's <laughs> like the first thing I'm thinking when I saw that. I, I'm sorry. They, it, fair, we, we made Kyrie had... Sane and Ember Moon a tag team, and it just kind of popped into our heads. Yeah, so yeah, like yeah. Sailor yeah. Moon. You that you wanted to call the Care Bears? Yeah, man. No, uh, the that Care in. Bears would be uh, Bailey and um, Braun Elias. Strowman. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bailey and Braun Strowman. <laughs> All right, let's run down the card here. Let's run it now. What do we got? <laughs> uh, we got Sailor Moon versus the iconic duo. Uh, we've got Batista versus Lashley versus Braun Strowman. We've got AJ Styles versus Adam Cole versus a hopefully fully healed Samoa Joe. We have got. Finn Balor versus Brock Lesnar, Elias versus the Velveteen Dream, mm-hmm. Triple H versus Kurt Angle, Ricochet versus Pete Dunn, and the Honky Tonk Man <laughs> and Rockabilly versus Double J, Jeff Jarrett, and the Roadie. Hot damn, you're good at this. Rookie of the year. You're awesome. You are an instant, <laughs> instant classic. I am in awe. Most people take weeks to get this right. Some people have been doing this for years and haven't figured it out yet. But uh, yes, you yes, figured yes. it out right away. That's yes. awesome. Well played. We have bookers from certain wrestling promotions on television have participated in this. So, uh, of a so, certain lucha promotion. I, I, <laughs> from I, the chat room. Uh, wait, 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 he wait, was wait. awesome at this, too. He was awesome. He was amazing. It made it. it. He made walked it. right in the door one time and just made the best match we'd ever seen. Yes, yes. He's used to just throwing out, throwing the book in, isn't he? Uh, but what, what's up, Mike? From the chat room, Ed Burke says, speaking from experience, Braun is most definitely a bear. <laughs> Yeah, don't yeah. know about scary. Well, I don't know. I, you... Well, that, that's where Bailey comes in. That's where Bailey comes in. Uh, ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, um, preemptively, I should let everybody know. Uh, we're going to be doing a fast lane challenge, and the stakes will be even higher oh, than they no. were for the chamber challenge. Oh no! Because oh, I'm you starting to get Matt, bored. Matt, <laughs> um, Matt, do you have an idea for the for what the fast lane challenge is? Because I have one. You know what? Um, my slack. guest, it's... my guest on. Talking Mayhem Mania this week is going to be Mad Mike, and we're going to spitball this thing. Oh no! On the show, yeah! So we're going to work, work this out. Little incentive to watch. So <laughs> right. I can't have Larry on because he's suspended. He, he is. Punch he the is. ref. <laughs> Punch the ref. yellow card. Punch the ref. Oh no! Oh no! Well, on that point, we're going to get to what we learned in a moment. But in the meantime, want to throw out a uh, shout out to our friends at Bold Sports. Uh, so we talk a lot about professional wrestling and there's some other sports that, uh, you know, some people still believe in out there and that's where bold sports comes in. Check them out. Bold Pittsburgh, boldpgh.com. Look for bold sports on the Sorgatron media master feed on your, uh, favorite iTunes provider. Join Steve and Matt as they bring, uh, you the weekly sports recap on the bold Pittsburgh sports each week. It's like sitting at the bar with two guys that, that, uh, tend to know sports. 
So uh, those guys have a lot of fun there. We had a great Super Bowl brunch party uh, with uh, one of the guys from uh, Penn Brewery and a crew in here a few weeks ago. Uh, Go check it out. Uh, Bold Sports Pittsburgh uh, over on the uh, Bold Bold Pittsburgh site. Um, So now it's time to find out what did we learn in wrestling this week? Who wants to go first? Actually, since Larry was... uh, uh, put out of that last segment we'll let you go first <laughs> are you feeling put out uh, he knows what he did i so learned you're gonna retreat to the basement now i learned there's no love for bart gun that's what i learned <laughs> oh he's man, man works his ass off for all the those years lesser gun the lesser gun by far the lesser of the two guns yeah 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 what'd you learn he's uh, the pea shooter oh <laughs> uh, what'd you learn mainstream matt oh jeez. um I, I, I learned a lot, Sorg. Mm-hmm. I, I learned... Uh, um, <laughs> pass! I pass? I don't know what I learned. I'm trying to think right now. I'm like, All what right, the hell moving happened on. The what about you, learn? Wheels? What did I learn? I learned that any man with... Oh, no, no, that's the wrong one. Um, I learned <laughs> that I truly love women's wrestling, and I really love London Ollie. And new girlfriend for Wheels... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> not really sort <smart>. wow <laughs> i see what you're trying to do there wheels uh but no uh, yeah london debuted with rwa this past weekend in a three-way with uh nina monet and uh holiday um and yeah it was it was uh, it was uh, we've seen her mostly in intergender over at rise uh so it was good to see her for the first time for, for me at least in uh and i think she's She's pretty new, isn't she? Like she's only maybe a year or so in, maybe close to a year. So close to a year in, so looked really good. Um, the women's, the quality of women's matches have been really getting up there in, in RWA lately. Um, so it's been really, they've been, they've been good for 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 a, w- a bit now. But uh, but no, it's it's a, it's been pretty steady lately. It's, it's awesome, and, and she's a great uh, addition to that too, right, Wheels? Mm-hmm. I totally agree. I mean. I was really impressed with her. I mean, all three, like you said, all three women did very well in that match, and I can't wait to see what the future holds. Yeah, so if you want to preview that, there is a, a clip of that over on RWA's um, Facebook and YouTube page as well uh, of that three-way, and a uh, full version uh, open uh, available, of course, at IndieWrestling.us. Uh, producer Missy has the microphone. I learned that Kurt Angle must be really, 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 really sick over the weekend. Because yeah, he he was just kind of out of his senses. He had a relapse. He he had a relapse. Yes, uh, that was an interesting choice of words that they chose for that. Yeah, yeah. For what was going on there? <laughs> um, but the, but that entire segment, I just I loved. Mm-hmm. So yes, that's that's what I learned. I I enjoyed something with wrestling this week. I love when she sounds surprised when it happens. Do you have one uh, mainstream match? Uh, yeah, I, I did remember something. I learned that Elias is uh, finally tired of Corey Graves taking shots at him on uh, commentary mm-hmm. because he fired back Stand finally on Raw. Yeah, he did. Took a little shot at Gravy. And you know what? I, I'm sure people enjoy it in other parts of the country, but here it, it resonates so much more. You know what I learned? I learned that um, uh, Corey Graves uh, uh, apparently took his uh, brother's hairstyle uh because uh, uh well sam- he wasn't using it anymore yeah, he wasn't so. using it anymore <laughs> sam elias of course really big in mexico right now in cmll he'll be joining us for iwc here on march 17th i believe there is also a seminar happening around that as well for any of you guys young wrestlers that want to be a part of that uh but he yeah he he had that blonde kind of like i, shaved on I the thought side he was thing. doing a bobby heenan thing you think it was a Bobby Heenan thing? That could be. That's what I think. Because if you saying, look at if you look at like old school feathered hair Heenan, mm-hmm. very similar. A little bit, a little bit, but 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 his brother had a very similar look to what he's kind of sporting now, you know. So I think it was a little maybe it's like, well, you're done with that. The other brother is gonna take it. So who knows? Also, um, I also learned <laughs> I also learned that uh Booger T got his hands on him. Uh, <laughs> the references during the kickoff show were pretty fun too, uh, and and somebody had to explain. I, was it you, Larry, or um, who else was here that was explaining? No, Billy. Billy was here uh, explaining because I didn't know there was more radio talk between the two of them, the Booker T. Corey Gray's feud, and that's why they dropped the line of like like Corey's like I don't want to have to run into the guy at a Starbucks and 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 have problems <laughs> with Booker T. Uh, so yeah, they were they were kind of taking their little fun shots at each other there too. So that was, that was a little fun. Yeah. 
Um, who else? I I didn't learn yet, Sorg. Uh, <laughs> Man, Mike, get your learning on. Um, I learned that I think we can officially declare the Wrestling Mayhem Show the development podcast for the ENC Pod of Awesomeness. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you 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 disclose <laughs> this to me. Why why is that, yeah. Mike? So I've been listening to Edge and Christian's podcast, and as all should three three weeks in a row, Corey Graves, Johnny Gargano, Elias. All three friends of this here program. Yes, yes. Well, all three have been on this show. So if Edge and Christian are the rocket strappers, we are the puddle jumpers. <laughs> I don't... I think we need to work on that terminology. Firecrackers? Yeah. Firecrackers? That might be. No, because they go off in people's hands and they injure people. Okay. Well, either way, I look forward to the Beast Man being on Edge and Christian's podcast after this. All, all podcasts are great, and of course, this is the finest of them all. But of course, I mean, Elias's appearances on uh, Edge and Christians and on Austin's podcast were so much fun to listen. It's to. been a lot of fun, like between uh, Gargano, I, I noticed, uh, but like hearing them tell s- these guys same stories that they told on our show like ages ago, yeah, is surreal. Yeah, I guess I like when they start name dropping like local Pittsburgh guys. Yeah, it's really yeah. Fun. yeah, yeah, that's fun. Like dropping the Shirley Doe and the IWC yeah. and and things like that. That's that's a lot of fun. Beast Man, what did you learn from? <laughs> well, I learned a rocket Billy still has relevance in the world. So, <laughs> <laughs> and I also learned that that is not the Mad Mike that I know. So, nope. Now you know another <laughs> Mad Mike. No, that's wheels. That's wheels. <laughs> that's wheels. <laughs> <laughs> ah, they look but I am the wheels that you know. Hashtag yeah. Dark Moon Rising. Yes. 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 Um, anyways, thank you so much, everybody. Uh, sorry, the chat room. Chat oh, room. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. The chat room learned things. Um, let's see. Bobby FJ Town learned that uh, I'm challenging the Undertaker. What? <laughs> uh, also, the Undertaker wasn't was not on WrestleMania Challenge for NES. Okay. Um, also, John learned that. Uh, uh, I was asking if we'll see Gargano on 205 after Mania. Could be. Uh, Brandon learned that uh, Brandon learned that Cena will do anything to get in a WrestleMania match. Um like wouldn't five uh Well he he won't wrestle Kurt Hawkins. Except wrestle Kurt Jeez. Hawkins. Um also a team learned that ignorance still breeds in wrestling. <laughs> yeah, they were talking about uh, well, well, yeah. Uh what was it? Uh I won't get into that. Uh, also Alex learned that you don't trust dirty sh- dirty sheet sites that uh, spoil everything. Alex is really mad at Meltzer right now this week by the way. Alex, if you don't <laughs> want Lucha Underground spoiled, just cancel your subscription now. Just go back later. It's going to be fine. You, Melts don't you need your money. Upset, what, just what? give me your tickets. There's that too. Uh, Dave <laughs> learned that Steph is the baddest woman on the planet. <laughs> <laughs> <I'm> t- <laughs> <laughs> Swallow that for a second, guys. <laughs> <laughs> the baddest woman on the planet. Yeah. Unquestionably. Unquestionably. <laughs> Beast Man, thank you so much for joining us. Where are you? Where can people find you online? Find me on uh, Facebook at facebook.com backslash Beastman Husk. You can find me on Twitter at Beastman Husk and on Instagram at Beastman Husk. And. You will be seeing me in the coming weeks. You'll be seeing me Saturday night at the Fight at Fight Society in McKeesport, Pennsylvania. This Sunday at the Diamond Plex in Benwood, West Virginia for Black Dot and Wrestling. And then next week, uh, for all my fans out in Ohio, you'll see me. Actually, you'll see me Friday in Charleston, West Virginia for Real Shoot Wrestling. Saturday, you get to see me twice in Ohio in Youngstown at the Harley Davidson dealership for Quaker City Wrestling. Then you can see me later that night in Massillon, Ohio for Middle Ohio Wrestling. And then that Sunday, uh, you all can also see me in Lima, Ohio for war. Well, you got a your dude's getting booked. Wow. <laughs> that's all over the place. So and you say one of the guys that's, that's worked like everywhere in Pittsburgh, too. So uh, go check him out. He's apparently coming to your town. Uh, so Husk! <laughs> <laughs> We're going to have fun with him on the Indie Mayhem Show. Um, around Sorgatron Media, please check out our friends, of course. Uh, they're just here in here Sunday. Comicbookpit.com. Talking comic books and geeky stuff. We know you can get along with us. Beastman's making friends without the window. Okay. <laughs> oh, no. He stopped. Oh, no. They're coming in. Uh, Fishing Without Bait. Uh, we were talking uh, Mecca Depression Fest. What is that with uh, poet Sheena Carroll? 
uh, the broadcast of some uh, great conversations. Of course, like we mentioned, Bold Sports um, over there and the Scarehouse podcast uh, talking with uh, Robbie Lepre of uh, Bush Gardens. Did the uh, I think it was Tear Town. Their 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 Halloween um, uh, nights over there. Um, some big stuff there. A really good conversation that we had here in the studio too. Thank you everybody for joining us, uh, and thank you Larry, Mainstream, Matt, Mad Mike, Wheels. Check out Wheels' is, um, sound work at rwalive.com. Yeah. <laughs> and on those productions as well. Uh, thank you, I think producer. You got a new desk. Thank you, producer Missy. There you go. Thank. I was on the way to it. Thank you, I producer know. Missy, for putting thank up with all of this. We'll see you guys next time. Mayhem out. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.